Sweeney Oz, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. You can check that out on his channel, Sweeney Oz. Yeah, bro. I thought it was a bad tune, so I thought I'd just play yeah, it, innit? Anyway, what episode is this? None the Wiser Podcast, episode 28. 28? Subscribe, oh. Instagram, YouTube, oh. Apple Podcasts. Oh. Actually, hold on, because we're not doing Apple Podcasts. One point. Apple Podcast, YouTube, it's YouTube, Instagram. It's a straight YouTube thing, right? Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, bro. Video girls are actually mad, you know. Mm. That girl there, the girl that was dancing there, you would never, if you saw her in the street, you'd never think that she'll do that, bro. Yeah. Bro. She was on her head. She was on she her was head on twerking. Her head twerking. Oh. On her head twerking. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was actually doing her madness. Yeah, she was like, in her madness. Yeah, oh, man. man. She was an actual legit dancer, innit? Yeah. Twer- the fucking twerk. The funny you know thing I mean? was, yeah, she was a dancer, yeah, but then the other girl that was there was just kind of like just a regular girl, innit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she was like dancing. Like this girl, you had one girl doing the most, fam, and then yeah. the other girl was just like. Yeah, I'm just a girl. <laughs> I'm just a normal girl. I'm just a girl that's here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. So. So, today, yeah, what's going on in the world? What's happening? What's occurring? What's happening? Um, Millionaires are creating. Uh, Ideas for homeless people to sleep in bins. What? <laughs> Why would you want to sleep in I a saw bin? this. I saw this. So, instead of actually, like, creating something that's going to improve your... Your... <laughs> your yes. situation? Your trash! Wait. <laughs> Get in there! Wait, wait. Is no. it considered a mobile home because yeah, it's no. got wheels? Where is oh, this? Shit. Where is this happening? I don't know. Hold on. So, I'm going to get it up, yeah? You're trying to put people in bins, bro. Bro, all that's going to happen, you're going to have a homeless man in a bin sleeping, yeah? And a drive-by is going to happen and it's going <laughs> to shoot up the bin, bro. <laughs> so basically, bin. Multimillionaire invents bin pods for rough sleepers by joining wheelie bins together. Okay. You're a millionaire and wait, that's oh. the best idea you came up with? A no, multi-millionaire, wait. my guy. What's the actual end result? I want to see the... Bro, look at him! That's it, that's it's it! It's a wheelie bin, that's bro! It. In your, the bin. One half of your torso and like your legs is on one side and then the bin folds over and it covers up your head. That's bro. a bin! It's you're a just, coffin. You're just getting in the bin. <laughs> multi-millionaire Brexit party can... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Brexit party candidate. Oh. It all makes sense now. <laughs> you know what it's like? Oh! <laughs> look, 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 he's folding it. He's folding it. How'd you get? You gotta get your arms in. Bro, just that's two bins. He's put two <laughs> bins oh, together. Come on, man. I can't even imagine. And it is a mobile home because it has wheels. 
Bruv, man just put two bins together. You can take that with you. What is that about, man? Bro, what happens no, when man them lift up the bin <laughs> and open it up and throw their rubbish in? <laughs> Hold on, whose bin is he using? <laughs> whose bin is he using? Are they taking know. rubbish out of bins to put people in? Is yeah, I don't saying? know. I don't understand. Like, no, bruv. Mean. Fuck you, innit? That's a bad <laughs> idea. Dave what? demonst... Do- Mr. Door demonstrates how the top is closed. Where's the rubbish going? <laughs> bro, where's the toilet? Where'd you go to the toilet? You can't, bro. You're Split. just there, like, just stationary, fam. Bro, how no. do you get out? <laughs> how do you get out? Bro, I'm not being funny. This is bro, fake. I tell you now, this is fake, if bro. I walk down this the street, is in the mirror. if I walk down the street one in the morning, yeah, and I see a bin just suddenly open up, yeah, and a brother <laughs> crawls out of it, fam, I'm dipping, fam. Wait, no, I don't know what bro, that's happen- I what was said, happening. Bro. I was actually quite delighted. <laughs> Delighted for what? Is there lighting inside? At the results. Don't like, know what know, results you, you get. You know like how they put... <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you can... <laughs> you can pass the homeless man in there. And all you hear is... Fresh is bashing, fam. He's just rocking no. it. He's <laughs> rocking it. It's that. really cozy, comfortable and dry, says from his multi-millionaire bank account bro oh, I don't know why you know what I'm saying I like, just think you, you remember that like, like would original... you ask him would he sleep in it no. no do you remember that original exactly. Simpsons episode where Bart got bullied by Nelson and he get, got put in a bin and kicked down the road fam oh, that's no. just what I rem- imagine happening bro some dickhead is gonna <laughs> yeah. just push him down the hill or something bro some teenagers bro didn't it? or they're gonna put him on a, in the road or some shit what what I wanna know is why wheelie bins why are yeah, they I guess because they're hard plastic. Yeah, so yeah, why, but why bins, are they bins, yeah. though? Why, don't, why they have two bins? Like, uses. Yeah, no, because you're going to go there to your fucking thing that you think you're going to sleep in, yeah? And there's going to be fucking used condoms. Fuck. There's going to be fucking needles go on. in there. There's going to be fucking it. trash, you know what it, bird shit. No. <coughs> yeah. Do you know what it is? There was another guy that in America, I think it was America, and he created uh, homes for the homeless, and they were like mobile homes, and they were 100% better than this, bro. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it, bro. Bro. But, uh, when asked whether he'd slept in his in his invention himself, Mr. Dawes said he'd laid down, for, uh, la- laid down in one for 10 minutes. <laughs> for 10 minutes? Yeah, I can do that. I can lay in a cold bath. For yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, no problem. Put ice in there. Insane. It's good. For 10 minutes. This <laughs> Look, this brother created tiny homes for the poor, man. Wait, hold on, man. you got to put it on here. What's the... What's the, uh, the man building tiny homes for the homeless in Los Angeles. YouTube. Ah, get the fuck out of here. But you know what? You thought of a wheelie bin of all the fucking... Bro, the, a he's wheelie a, he's bin. A, he's a dickhead, bro. Serious. Serious, man. Yeah, you right. could easily do something like you know how you got the bikes everywhere, where you, where you yeah. you got an app or whatever or you. Uh, so I've never used them before, but I think there's an app. You could unlock the thing. Why not make like booths like that for fucking homeless people or some sort of sheltered area, bro? Do you know what? There's yeah. so many. Yeah, that's it. There's so many things, bro. You could do, excluding a wee yeah. bin. Bring, yeah, your, like, bring your own bin. sleeping bag. Yeah, come stay on under our fucking roof. Wire bin. Yeah, why, why couldn't you? They if are. anything, bro, how's that man gonna feel crawling out of a wee leaf bin, fam? Yeah, yeah. He's already yeah. homeless, fam. Yeah, You're like, gonna make it worse. Worse. <laughs> Not only are you homeless, you're now. Who's, who's the who's the man from that puppet show who comes out the bin? What's <laughs> 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 gonna grouch? Um, Is, that oh, what's gonna grouch? Oh. Is it grouch or? Bro. Houses for the homeless. Good man. So he's building houses for the homeless. He builds like mini what are houses. And they are here. Why is he I can't remember what he builds them out of. Though. This is a long video, man. Yeah, this no, is just like get to the, no, just get to the the actual image of what the houses are like. Let's see. You just went past it. Oh, did I? Yeah, it's like so this is a house. There. A car. Optional. So, yeah, it's a little hut. But where do they keep the house? What do you mean? Oh, you reckon he's gonna buy land? No, if I recall, if it's I recall, they're, they're like mobile houses. You can you put them on like them. Solution. Uh, okay, how are they, they got handles? You pick them up and you walk off. Foldable. I swear they fold. I can't remember, man. I remember seeing one where they fold. I don't know if it is this one. There's so many that. I've seen. That don't look foldable. So that looks like it's a day's work, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a lot of work. Looks like you're gonna be there for me. <laughs> the funniest thing you got this guy, yeah. Building actual fucking like 
houses <laughs> and then you got my man making multi million yeah multi million <laughs> you know what it is yeah it's like bro there's you could have thought of so much more you know yeah I, I don't know what it's called but it's over here yeah there's a currency for homeless people over here did you know that what yeah it's create it was created from a guy it's called spice no 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 <laughs> it's created from a guy that done a lot of charity work but he actually died so the family in his name created this currency for homeless people and what it is uh it's like a i can't remember how the homeless can get this this particular it's like a coin with the guy's face on it and i, I can't remember what it's cool but Whoa. i don't know how you get it but what it is you get this coin and then certain companies will sign up to actually accept these coins mm. yeah so it's like a charitable thing and these homeless can go in and use these coins, yeah, to get food and drink. And what it's to do is to stop them using actual real money to go buy like drugs, for example, or oh, alcohol. So it's like a currency just for homeless people so they can eat and get drinks. You're trying to become king of the bro, homeless. Bro, that's like, bro, listen, you, was you there? <laughs> Imagine that, bro. Imagine that. Man's got a million of these coins, bro. <laughs> Man's up right now. <laughs> you, know you can start a homeless army, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many of these coins I've got? <laughs> Listen, you get one coin a day. <laughs> one coin a day. Lick off some of the But, bro, do you remember? Was you with me in Cap at that time when that guy came up to me and asked for me for money, bro? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, Listen, bro. Yo, I remember this guy, yeah. He said, I wanted money to get chicken and chips. I was like, Come, I'm taking you to the chicken and chip yeah, yeah. shop and I'm buying you chicken and chips, bro. Bro, you're not, and he actually stayed. Hear what? The guy stayed, yeah, ate the food, and he went to my. Yo, I will always remember your face, cause when I see you, I will always respect, remember you, and like spud you, bro. I swear, next, like two days later, bro, we see mine, bro. He just looked at my. <laughs> 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 I'm not your chicken and chip token, you know. <laughs> he didn't even. Call, yeah. You know what? He asked him again, but he didn't even remember it was him, bro. He was just asking. He asked that many chicken. people. Oh, that many people, bro. It's like, yeah, it's, it's like that guy in the leather jacket. Which kind of leather jacket? When we, when we was in Portugal, bro. Oh, that oh. guy, bro. I said, is that? Listen, he had no he, arm, no, innit? He's about. He's got arms, He's got, arms, he's got, he's got arms, all his oh, fucking oh, faculties. Oh, oh, yeah. He's fine. He's about, bro. Yeah. He's hustling, bro. He was like, <laughs> this he was like, listen, listen, listen. Bro, you know, I never forget that, yeah, because you know it is, bro. Uh, you wanted to whip out. You remember the brother? You know what I remember? Him. Brother, I remember yeah. him. Bro, it made me laugh here because in, in Ben's head, he's like, I don't want to give him money. Man, yeah, whip, exactly. man whipped out the tendon. He was like, oh, I'm not to <laughs> <laughs> It was my fault, yeah, because I opened the wallet and I didn't even look yeah. at what I was pulling bro, out. Bro, I, I can't lie. Out. I can't lie. I've done that, you know. I've done it over here, bro. I've Listen, done it. Let me tell you something, because that's the same guy. I knew, him. I know his face. You lot didn't say nothing. To <laughs> I him, know bro. him. You lot <laughs> said he can't speak English. You know. That you lot right. could have easily said to me, "Yo, this guy's burky, You know, bro. He's all. He's I a. I can't bad. lie. He's, he's, bad, he's always bro. begging. Bro, yeah. when we was at the restaurants in Portugal, bro, he'll walk up to you, bro, and he'll be like, "Listen, be like, please, please." We were eating in Pizza na Pedra, yeah. You know that restaurant. Where we got the banging salmon yeah, yeah, pasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, tight that restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad restaurant. Me, Adam and Gina would... Uh, me, Adam and Gina were there, yeah? Mm. And uh, this Don's walking past. And he's asking us for money. <laughs> and I'm like, fight them border, man. Like, leave yeah. it. Go, bro. Go, go. Right. Fight them border. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then he, he, he walks off and then he comes back. And he's like, <sighs> like, he's angry. And then he starts shouting at us in Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like he's like storming up and down the yeah. road. Like I'm rude to him. Like, listen, yeah. bruv, I'm eating, you know? Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, you degenerate. Yeah, serious, bro. You're out here. Listen, the amount of money he probably makes in a day, bro. Yeah. You, you could be paying rent. That brother fucking That's walking up. Pay rent. <laughs> bruv, no, probably the tourists, bro. The tourists. Bruv, he's bruv. probably ri Bruv, let me tell you now. True fucking story. I was up London once, yeah? <clears throat> and then, bro, I was walking. This this uh this Jamaican brother come up to me, a homeless brother, yeah, mm. and he was like, Oh, you got any spare money, innit? And at the time, I had money. So I was like, Yeah, bruv, like, let me let me give you a little something, yeah. I think I can't remember, I gave him like a five or something, bruv, yeah, because he said he went to get some food, innit? Mm. Like at the time I should have just got him the food. Yeah. That's what I do now, I get them the food, you yeah. know. I don't really give money like that. But I gave him the money anyway. Bruv, don't think twenty minutes later, yeah, I come past that same spot. 
yeah i see the breader and as i'm walking i see the breader bust the corner jump into a porsche and drive off a porsche swear to god i swear to god professional professional beggar that's what they call him bruv this porsche. guy jumped in a porsche bruv man's living better than you i know asking for money i know a push fam and i was like bro that's all mad i've never i could not believe it bruv but you hear stories of it professional no, beggars wait hold on because this way it gets deep yeah let me try and relate it to something else so they're taking advantage of your of your um generosity yeah yeah basically are strippers taking advantage of men's horniness no, because men are willing to do it. Men, men purposely go to the strip club and and are willingly to throw their money at them. I'd say there's a culture behind it. <clears throat> Hold on, because there is. strippers. Mm. Don't get twisted, because I've been to a dodgy strip club here that I was mm. taken to. I didn't know about it. Mm. It took us there, and I'm like, yeah, this is a mad situation. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> bro, we spoke about it before. Like one side, it was a bar. The other side are all strippers. Yeah, and you're basically like prey, bro. Yeah, they, they're coming up to you, trying to touch you, trying to say But then this is a dodgy place, yeah, though. Yeah. It's not like a normal strip club. Yeah. Right. But the guys in there that you... The guys that are in there, you can tell... They ain't getting no pussy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. CD, you know what I'm saying? CD, CD man. Yeah. Man, so don't get none. These women are... Pro Let me tell you something. One of the guys I went in there with got finessed. 20 minute dance, man lost 150. I don't care. Do you know what? God! I, I'll be real. This uh. is the real... This is the truth of it. Women in that in that uh, profession are not finessing no men, and I tell you why. Yeah, because, in that situation, because one, no, because one, it's their profession. Yeah, so that's what you their their job is to do to entice men. Mm. So they want to have a dance from a particular woman, and then that woman gets paid for their service. Yeah, and two, bro, these men mm. know these men know what it's all about. They are willing. Lee, bro, think of it like this, yeah. If they see the old men, yeah, why go to a strip club and willingly blow hundred and twenty five pound on a woman you can't touch when you can go buy a present no, from no, and no, actually no, smash these, these women? All right, cool. Them ones in particular, but I'm on about like a, a legit strip club. Bro, you go there, you throw your money, and you can't. Bro, nine times out of ten, you can't even touch these girls unless they whine on you. No, but it's true. <clears throat> they're dickheads, but at the same time, yeah, the women know that they're preying on them in the sense that because because what happens is. Some of these guys are so vulnerable, yeah? They're so helpless that they will believe that because the strippers will keep in contact with them, yeah? Oh, they don't. You ever seen the Have you seen the film, have you seen the the film, film Hustlers? With no. uh, uh, J-Lo, Cardi B's in no, it. No, I was meant to watch it. Right, it. it's a good film, first yeah. of all. It is actually a good film, isn't it? But it's a similar thing in that film, isn't it? Because it gets to a point where they realise that these men are paying to have a good time but these men are getting so out of it to the mm. point where it's like they're like they're like a, a brokers stockbrokers up in the city and whatever so they've got the peace sell, sell, so they sell, start sell. taking the advantage sell, up to bon the point bon. where okay you lot are getting drunk and all of this stuff yeah. then we'll take advantage and get you to start buying drinks behind the bar more and more drinks mm. and then what happens is from that the club because they know they're doing it and they're in on it, they split the money down the, down the line and mm -hmm. they give half to the to the women or whatever. Or they end up just taking the cars themselves and just using it and drawing up money. Mm -hmm. So what about rich guys who get on? Right, just yeah, but then that comes and, from a different place. I yeah. think it comes from the fact that they've got so much money they can make this woman just See, dance. See, I'm telling you, yeah. the woman is not exploiting the man, the man and I tell no, you why. Because it's the same. It's the same. Like, so it's it's not the same, but it is in a sense, yeah. The, whim, the woman entices the man to spend their money, but the man is the one who's coming into the place in the first place, knowingly looking what is that. what is looking for it and what to expect. Mm. It's like you going into a shop, yeah? All right, cool. You might go into fucking Ralph Lauren, for example, yeah? And they've got these particular things on show, mm. yeah? And they're enticing you, and you're spending your money... But then you leave the shop, but then suddenly you start getting emails from Ralph Lauren saying, "Ah, oh, we got this on sale, blah blah blah." Enticing you to come back. It's the same principle. It's except, it's except, well, it's except, though, is except it? the 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 business uh, side of it is women. But there's no emotional manipulation there with Ralph Lauren. 
Whereas no, we're stripping there is. Maybe, but then you always get them people that be like, oh, I need to have this the, the latest shit. I need to have this latest Ralph Lauren. I need to look good. Yeah. I need to look good for the gram. There's a pressure on them. Oh, yeah. I can't be seen wearing Primark. I've got to have Ralph Lauren, blah, blah. Do you get what I'm saying? There's a pressure. So in that sense... Yeah, but that, that, that pressure doesn't come directly from Ralph Lauren. That that's, comes from that's so everyone true. else. Yeah. Whereas this... The pressure's coming from the stripper. The stripper's like, yeah, come back, baby. I yeah, but it's on. Yeah, what? Yeah, but what? Like you're not making going, them right, cool. feel like but, but actually a thing. Have you not got your own man? You do, but what I'm saying is, we're talking about someone manipulating someone else. Just like a homeless person manipulates another person's emotion, even though they're not actually homeless. The way I see it, it's willing. It's willing manipulation. If I was, if for, for, first of all, the whole thing started from that particular individual walking into the place and knowingly what is about to happen. Now, it's only because they're too stupid to understand that they're playing a game with them that they're like, oh, yeah, I'll come back, hoping that they're going to get some pom pom. It ain't happening. But yeah, am but I not lying, though? No, it's no, true. no, it's true, but well, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate. So I'm saying, what if, the, at the same time, you could say no to a homeless person? You could be like, how do I know you're not a professional uh, yeah, yeah. beggar? I'll be real. I'll ha- be real. I have said no to a homeless person. But this is what I'm saying. How do you know? Just like how you can say no to that stripper, you can say no to that beggar in the sense that <clears throat> uh, how do I know you're not just a, a yeah. professional beggar? Like, yeah. how, well, you know she's a professional. How about I buy you food much instead of giving you money? It's different, though, in the sense. Of, it's different it. in the sense of, though, because <clears throat> with homeless people, it's coming from a more humanitarian level of the point of okay, you're looking at an individual now who seemingly is is less well-off than you. They have no home, they have no job, they have no prospects in life and all they really want is, is a drink or a bit of food. So you're looking at it from a humanitarian level now. From a strip club, you're looking at it from a sexual pleasure point of view. You're looking at it as a personal pleasure point of view and you're allowing Still yourself needs, to be bro. manipulated. Still yeah, needs. but it's not the same. It's, it's completely different. You've got personal pleasure needs and then you've got a humanitarian level where it, where it comes into conflict of your own uh, humanity. It's your own morality, really. Yeah, and morality, yeah. Well, well, yeah, but, yeah, okay. The way, the way I see it, man, if you're selling something, you're going to find a way to make someone buy it from you. Just, just like the stripper, she's got the best moves. You know what I'm saying? Her body's looking tight. You get me? She's she she's moving correctly. Obviously, the hobo guy's got his got his thing. He's looking sad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Looking all trampy. He's got his wheelie bin yeah. outside. Looks <laughs> like <laughs> no, the wheelie yeah. bin guy. He created this double bin for me. Yeah. <laughs> the guy. Yeah, exactly. You can come lie it with me. It's not big this enough. Is what I but you can have one half and I'll have the other. Because <laughs> of this. Guy. Look at it like this. Yeah. It's like drug dealers. Not people that sell weed or whatever or like lower class level drugs here, yeah, but people that sell hard level drugs here, yeah, mm. heroin, crack, whatever, yeah. Mm. Like is it is it the drug dealer's fault that the people are like this? Because it at is the end of the day if he was the first Well wait, if he was no, nah, but this is the thing. This is the thing, yeah. It's not. It's not, and I tell you why, because it's down to the individual. Bro, it's like me, yeah? If I suddenly was like, you know what? I want to go try fucking crack, bruv, or heroin, yeah? And I purposely go looking for someone that deals in, in these narcotics, yeah? That's, your yeah? Fault. that's, that's your my fault, fault yeah, yeah, yeah? Because I was willingly doing it, yeah? And then, boom, I buy off this person and I get <clears> hooked. Now, I keep going back to that person. Now, is it that drug dealer's fault? No, no. I personally don't think it is, yeah? They may not be helping the situation, but at the same time, you've got to look at it like this. If they don't buy it off them, they'll go someone else either way because that is what that individual wants to do in that moment of time. Yeah. They want some fucking drugs, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? I've heard of drug dealers actually coaxing people into trying these Right, things. that's yeah. different. Yeah. See, that's where it comes different. So you've got people who are willingly trying the drugs and then you've got people who get caught in a situation where they're where they're put on the drugs but i've heard stories where man them what they do um in america and i think in mexico they purposely drive around finding homeless people mm. yeah or seemingly homeless people like poor people <clears throat> they kidnap them oh. yeah and what they do they they dose them up on a mat like heroin for example yeah and they get them addicted and what they do is basically they they know that in their area they have particular corner people that sell these drugs that are in their in their um, 
gang or whatever you want to call it, bruv. Yeah. And um, yeah, bruv, they make their money like that. They 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 do it, bruv. They mm. purposely get people hooked so they come back. That's all fucked. So going back to the whole weed thing, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the, the the point is, yeah, there's all types of manipulation. Yeah. When you're selling something, you're gonna find a way to manipulate that person's logic or emotion for them to to buy what you yeah. want. I mean, fucking Coca Cola been doing it for years. Mm. You know what I mean? Holidays are coming. Holidays are, yeah. and it and they've got you from you as a kid. <laughs> And you hear Do you know that? what? It's it's, like, it's mad because Lloyd that's true. Banks, I mean, Lloyd's Bank has got you on the mortgage. Lloyd Banks, <laughs> yeah. No, but it's true. Lloyd <laughs> <laughs> Banks, that Lloyd Bank? <laughs> Yo, Lloyd Banks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, they got you as well. Yeah, Cadbury's got you. They're showing you these adverts. I saw one advert for a place called Jolly Bee. The hell is that? Yeah, jo- Jolly exactly. Bee. Exactly. Yeah, it's a, Jolly it's, Bees. There, there's a there's a fish and chip shop in Forest Hill called Jolly Bees. The Jolly Bees, they're they're like a a, a Chick Fil A, American style sort of. I think it's Filipino. Okay. But they've got like noodles, but they do like chicken burgers and shit. Like, anyway, bro, it's McDonald's, irrelevant. bro. McDonald's, right? Um, but the one I'm gonna point out is Jolly Bee, because Jolly Bee has got this advert, right, where this guy, this kid's dad has died, yeah, and it's like his parents' anniversary or some shit, and he's with his mum. Yeah, exactly. Already. This is just so, a restaurant. Exactly. Right? This is what I'm saying. I don't <laughs> emotional manipulations, whether it's whether it's hormones, whether it's mental sort of damage or emotion, whatever, they're gonna find a way to deal with and so this kid has rented out the Jolly Bees for his mum on his on his dad's anniversary. On on their wedding anniversary. That's the advert. Hey, what? Yeah, exactly. So he goes in there and basically he's saying that he's the man of the house now, right? So it gets bare emotional, bro. You're like, mm. no, this is an advert. What are you doing? Like, yeah. stop it. But this is these are the lengths that market market it goes to. Hear what? And it's the same. With you the lot thing. must have seen it. You lot must have seen at Christmas time. They had, I think it was the John Lewis advert. I might be wrong, but I think it might be. It's either John Lewis or one of them kind of companies, yeah. And the advert was basically trying to sell uh, a tablet. I think it was an iPad. Yeah, it was marketing the iPad, but through this particular company, yeah. And in the advert, it had a granddad with all his grandkids around him, and his wife has died and is not there for Christmas. So the grandkids, yeah, basically created a a, a, a slideshow of all, of all pictures from when the nan was alive. Mm. Yeah, and showed it to the granddad, and then he started crying or whatever. Mm. Now, if that isn't emotional manipulation yeah. into buying a product in the sense of, ah, oh, maybe this can benefit your your family get over a lost one by putting all these pictures on there yeah. and using it as what, bro? Come on, man, it's it's being about it's bro, sugar. Evil. Look at sugar. Sugar's the biggest drug in the world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. Do you get what I'm saying? How much sugar is in, in in food products, but without the people actually wanting it to be in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, salt. Look at KFC, bro. You not notice how, how salty KFC chicken is, mm-hmm. bro. Salt, salt can be addictive, bro. Yeah. And that's why it's fucking, bro. You have the KFC um chicken strips, mad salty, bro. Mm. They banging bare salt, fam. Keeps the people coming back, fam. And then it's it mad. dries your mouth out, so they so you buy their Pepsi. Mm. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, speaking of selling things, Erica Badu selling pussy incense. Yeah, <laughs> man, this is all a bit mad. How does that even work? Like, so, if you, you, you try to get. How do you make your pom How do you make <laughs> an incense smell like your pom pom? <laughs> That's what I want to know. How do they get the smells? You got to secrete. And hang on, some kind of flu. Pum Pum can smell different, so, yeah, she so make sure what side of that Pum Pum is it on? Is that on the good side or yeah. <laughs> on the bad side? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, Erica Badu's new incense will smell like her vagina. I don't want to walk into a room and it smells bro, like trap. What is in her hair? <laughs> oh, oh, oh bro. Is that, that bottle caps? Remember that? The pussy smell like bottle caps. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know Chinese whispers when you get half the story. <laughs> the people deserve it. But <laughs> in regards yeah, so to the product, will be part of her new online store, Badu World Market. Yeah, this is crazy. What is up with her, man? Um, Yo, Badu's been a wanted woman for time, you know. Yeah, so you guys crazy. like Badu, you know. How old is she now? I don't know, man. I don't know. 
I don't know, but that's crazy. Well, someone, like someone, it. someone said I can't remember what it was. It might be Andre three thousand, bro. Said that she's got the best pussy in the, in the world. Bro. Andre three thousand said that. Might have been, maybe maybe she's just a master manipulator. It was someone like, that said that she's got the best pussy in the world. Like, how, how do you do that? Well, this is the, yeah, I don't know. You got how the that best works. pussy in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, how does he know? Though? You can't say that. Like, no, this is, beat, obviously. This is a mad obviously, but yeah. this is a mad this, this is where it goes deep. <laughs> this is where it goes <laughs> yeah, deep. True. This is where it goes that. deep. Yeah. So obviously, we all know that women and men each have their own pheromones, which attracts the opposite uh, sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what if? She's using her pum pum juice smell. Oh, <laughs> yeah. what? In incense, yeah, to subconsciously oh, no. get all audience and audiences. <laughs> Wait, so are you <laughs> saying that Andre 3000 was the guinea pig for her pussy juice <laughs> incense? But maybe. And it converted him. Maybe. To thinking that she had the best pussy in the world. Maybe. Maybe. I'll She'll release this item, and then the whole of America, for example, will all be sniffing well, incense. It won't be juice. everyone. I remember it's not everyone's stick. Bro, but what if it goes Personally, in the air, bro? I don't want my house smelling like pussy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what does it smell like? <laughs> you know what? Just out of curiosity, I want to know, <laughs> innit? Oh, no, not her pussy itself, but the incense, innit? That's mad. It, it, like, who, who really wants the house to smell like pussy, bro? It don't even matter if the pussy this, smells. Decent, but it's a pussy. It sounds like a gimmick. It sounds like a gimmick to me. Yeah. What? Does it say in that article why she feels the need that the world needs? Bro, she said the world deserves it. Why does the world deserve it? I want to know why. She's, she's I don't being, know. She's being clever. She's crazy. She's I think clever. she's a form of siren. She's yeah. a siren. She's a siren, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, like a mythical creature. How far is that away from? Porn stars making vagina like the pocket vaginas like their they do pussy. that yeah they do that's what I'm saying like how far away is the smell now no you can't smell it though that'd be that incorporating the smell in to... the pocket in the pocket pussy <laughs> <laughs> yeah like if Erica Badu released the incense and the pocket pussy <laughs> she'd have a double whammy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying the world deserves it apparently she's got the best pussy <laughs> And that was it, we need to try it, bro. Great, uh, <laughs> <laughs> make a mold of it, you know what I'm saying? Let's see it. Oh, I don't know. How do you tell me the best pussy? <laughs> it's subjective, isn't it? Like, it's it's what you subjective. Like. Is it by look and, and, and feel and, and yeah, I smell? Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe it's a smell, maybe it smells like fucking <laughs> tropical juice. <laughs> <laughs> like, tropical maybe juicy, it smells bro. like fucking smells, great drink, bro. Yeah, it smells like mango <laughs> and fucking guava and shit. Yeah, like. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. So who knows what that's, she's got up there? That's all weird. <laughs> bottle caps. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a bottle, she's got a bottle caps. <laughs> Yeah, bro. All so I know is Philip's well. Philip Schofield won't be smelling his wife's nah no more, bro. Yeah, bro. Yo. <clears throat> that's Do you know what? He's married for 27 years, bro. Just, just, yeah, 27 years, two kids, two daughters. I'm going to say this now. My opinion on Philip Schofield has not changed. Yeah, why would, it? why would it? Because a lot of people, which I've seen today, because I can't lie, people are quick with it. They're yeah, quick yeah, with yeah, the yeah. joke, fam. If I tell you how many jokes I've been sent today, fam, I don't know how quick people's minds are, fam, <laughs> but they create these whole thing. It's like they already knew. Yeah. It's like they well, already knew and they had it in preparation just for this day, fam. Yeah. yeah but, fam, there's people out there that are suddenly going to change their perception of him, and they're going to... Because they, they will, bro. Because there's, there's, there's just people out there that just don't like gays in it. I can't lie, I always kind of kind of thought he was a little bit on yeah. the side. It was I, obvious, it was obvious. Is. The only thing that made me not think it was because he he's married. Wife, yeah, 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 but yeah. then that doesn't mean anything really, but mm. look, it, look, look, first of all, my opinion's not changed of him. When him and Holly are on this morning and they start busting the jokes of Gino, Gino the camp, boy, man's uh, creasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're funny, in it. So if that's Gino's first of all. Second of all, I don't particularly care if anyone is gay, especially Philip Schofield, yeah, because you are not impacting on my personal life whatsoever. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And second of, um, third of all, do you know what? In in today's day and age, and with the there's certain tolerance, obviously, towards the whole uh, homosexuality thing and whatever. Yeah. Nowadays, we're going back a few years. There wouldn't be such such a thing, but mm. there are still people out there that do feel a certain way. So, B 
being someone in the limelight <clears throat> coming out, bruv, I commemorate you, bruv. Do you, you know what I mean? You had, is that the word? Commemorate is when someone's like gone and then you're celebrating. No, right? is it? And you're remembering them. Oh, whatever the fucking word is. <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, uh, congratulations. Are you sure? I should have Googled it. But yeah, I go mean, on. All your bum fun. Enjoy it's it. It's a man, yeah. relax. How do you know Public he's a now. taker? Bruv. Yeah. Huh? How do you know he's a receiver? I just what said, is he even going to do? I just said, bum fun. It could be taken or give it. Why are you going to go into the bum fun? Why are you going to go into the bum fun? No, boy. I mean, for you, whatever you want to call it. This is the thing, yeah. I don't know how people can even care. Like, I mean, it's only a big deal for him and his family. Yeah, because he's been him. married. I wonder yeah. if his wife knew, though. No, 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 no. Knew? Have you not seen it on this morning? He no. came out on no, this morning. No, I watched morning. the video, yeah. I've not seen it. Okay, him. cool. Well, he, I think he, he tweeted or put it on it, uh, Instagram. I think he tweeted it. And then he came, I know, obviously, the, the show this morning on this morning <laughs> was about that, like, when he came out. You know it's what I'm like, saying? I'm gay. Holly? Well, just put it in a short clip because. Wait, hold on, because there's a tweet. You said he's a tweet there, isn't it? Oh, the tweet's long to read, though. Is it? You just go on the video, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, but the video's also like. It's not. It's. Minutes, it's bro, bruv, oh, just. Okay. You, yeah, but you're just getting the basis of it, bruv. Holly promises to be by Phil Simmons. Basically, the way I understand it, Holly already knew. His wife Probably. and daughters already knew because yeah. he's been battling it for 27 years. Twenty-seven. That's mad. You, s- how, you know how, how many crazy kids? that is? Two. Two kids. So he's done being busy. At least twice. Yeah, man, he's busy. <laughs> he's being busy, bro. Right, hold on. Um, and and this is this is go back, go this back, is go to always been a sort. I'm not I'm not I'm not thinking there. I'm I'm, think, I'm I'm doing each day at a time now. Yeah. Um, and and this is this is this is always been a slow process um and and there, there's no fast process after this yeah. i just this was the this was the big day um and this was this was the day that i you know i, I knew that everything was pointing towards um and i could not have done it if it hadn't been you <laughs> um so afterwards i don't know but no there's no one i'm not i'm not rushing out to anybody well whatever happens in the future I'll be sat by your side, either here, in fact, come and sit here now, where you should be, because it feels <laughs> too weird, and I'll be by your side forever. Thank you, my darling. So ever and ever. Yeah, man, I okay. mean, at the end of the day, bro, I'm happy that he's happy. I'm happy that he... I don't he care if he's happy or not, it makes no, no yeah, difference in no, my no, life. Yeah, yeah, it, it makes a difference, no difference, but at the same time, yeah. I'm viewing it, and I'm like, all right, cool, yeah, you're man. now no longer dealing with that torment of... Because I think he was talking yeah. about suicidal yeah, yeah. thoughts at one point about because it, it was so <clears throat> impacting on his personal life. Well, that you it need was to like, think about it like this: he's got a wife, he's got kids, he's got to think about other, how it affects other people around him. And it's, he's obviously, and him and his wife have obviously talking about back. it might be helpful to carry. She's got in touch. Him and his wife have obviously built some like strong kind of bond. So to break that to her will be very hard. It must have yeah. got to a point though where it was just like. I mean, in in her mind, the wife's mind, it's like, how do you perceive that? Because it's like, are you with me because it's convenient for the children? Are you with me because you look at me more as a friend, a great, great friend? Oh, if I keep friends on your wife. How do you look at it? (laughs) I I mean, obviously, from what I've seen, well, not what I've seen, but what I've heard and the way Philip Schofield has been talking, she's quite supportive. She's very supportive. Oh, she would have. That's fair enough. Yeah. yeah, man, at that point, you know, I mean, you can love someone without, like, being in love with them. So, for example, he might just love his wife a lot. Yeah, friendship. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, in the way where he cares a lot for her. But, obviously, because he, sexually he's inclined the other way, he can't be <laughs> in love with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how it works, though, because it's like... You've been battling it for 27 years. You, you willingly got married. Obviously, I don't know if that was a form of you just trying to disguise the fact that you're gay and, and you didn't want to come out at, in Maybe that time. Maybe he wasn't sure. Fair enough. Maybe he wasn't sure. But you still done the deed and you beat it and you had two kids. Now, you can you, are, you, are you gay or are you bi? Well, he just said he's gay. Yeah, yeah. I think he said he's gay. But 
at the same time. But you must have had. I don't know in it yet, but I'm assuming, bro. Like, I can't imagine having any sexual encounter with men, bro. Yeah, no, it disgusts me. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, for him to actually have a sexual, I imagine it would be the same. So for him to have a sexual encounter with a woman, I imagine it would be in a gay gay person's mind is just like shocking and disgusting. I don't know, but this is I don't get it. But he I did it. But he done it. So this is what I'm saying. So is he actually gay or is he bisexual? Does he still find women attractive or is he just completely gay? Well, is he must have found some form of attraction or was he just taking one for the team twice? Are you telling me he ain't had no bum for 27 years? I think that's a lie, bro. I mean, he might not have. He might have banged his wife in the mum, bro. Oh, not, they, you don't know. Listen, I want to get into what they get up to in the bedroom, bro. <laughs> Who she might have knows? thought that he liked, you know, you know what I'm saying, certain you know, things a bit too much. You know, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know he done the game show, The Cube. Oh yeah. Someone cut the bit of the of the C off, so it said lube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yo. People are the worst, you know. <laughs> I swear, to hey, listen. If, yo, people are quick. If you it can't still. have a laugh, then then get ready to be hurt, man. Serious, because that's how it goes. <clears throat> Do you know what have that laugh. that goes into the whole thing about uh, censoring uh, comedy. Hu- comedy and humor? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, oh my god. You know. What are these not saying? They're saying that you you're spo- you, you should censor humour? Listen, basically, the woman was basically saying, yeah, that certain jokes are too inappropriate for certain settings. Which actually kind of makes sense, but at the same time... If you're talking professional atmosphere... That yeah. is the form that you were asked to... <laughs> it said, by signing this contract, this is the UNICEF on campus at SOAS, right? Part of University of London. By signing this contract, you are agreeing to our no-tolerance no policy with regards to racism, sexism, classism, ageism, homophobia, biphobia, transphobia, xenophobia, Can it take a while, homophobia... Listen, it, bro, you can't joke about anything. No. That's everything. Like, the funniest things are the things that, like... You're not meant to. <laughs> you're not meant to talk about. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's taboo, like... It depends, man, because yeah. there are there are some guys who can make like taboo subjects really funny. Let me tell you now. Let yeah, me tell exactly. you now. I got a video on my phone of Jimmy Carr. Oh, Jimmy Carr's the best example. Doing a joke. Yeah. Oh, man. Doing yeah. a joke about the Holocaust. <laughs> oh gosh, I haven't heard yeah. it, but I can imagine. From when you can talk about stuff like that and make it funny, yeah, you're talented. Simple. So wait. You, you're talented, but it's like I don't know in it. I I don't know about you lot, but I see I can see negative things in the world like everyone else does yeah, do, man. and and negative subjects and topics and negative in history or whatever events or whatever. But sometimes I feel the way to get over these things is to make light hearted of situations and mm. and, and and comedy yeah, yeah, and yeah, 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 it's yeah. it's for me anyway, Percy. It's the way forward. You gotta make light of situations because although you can never forget certain events and whatever, you gotta make light of it. Mm. Otherwise, you're constantly gonna be in a rut of just miserable and yeah, holding man. on grudges and I don't know in it. And also, humor creates a a, a dialect, a, a conversation starter. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? To actually understand why things are the way they are, whatever. Yeah, man. Like today, I was embarking, yeah, Dagenham, and a fucking Good and a lorry, a lorry, mm-hmm. r- like splashes me with this dirty water, bro. Come oh. on, and I'm not gonna start oh. crying. I start laughing. Like mm-hmm. I'm just like, well, what are the odds? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Anyway, that's the thing. Let's see what what they're really saying. And and label him for the rest right. of his life as a racist. Right. This is what happens. I'll give you this one example very quickly. I was on stage in a comedy club a few months ago as a Russian comedian talking about American politics. And this American guy stands up and he goes, the problem with Russians is you don't understand democracy. You're laughing at my American accent there, right? And I said, what do you mean? Got Trump elected, didn't we? <laughs> right? Now it's a joke. I don't have any idea where Russia, whether right. Russia got Trump elected or not. But if you're one of these woke students, you probably think that Donald Trump is a white supremacist. Yeah. So what I've literally... But political do- jokes but, against Trump are okay. Yeah, absolutely. But what you think when you hear that joke is I'm endorsing the election of white supremacist neo-Nazi president. <laughs> When it's just a joke. Yeah. I have no yeah. idea. I've yeah. never met yeah. Donald Trump. Yeah. I've never... I've, They're literalists. 
That's they're the literalist. Thing. That's what they think. They're yeah, taking every take word. It, they're yeah. taking every word literal. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they're taking it as gospel, it's, bruv. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's a joke. Yeah. We don't think that fucking kids should be smashed over the head with glasses. Yeah, or yeah. that fucking people should 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 uh, hate other races. No, yeah. it's not the case. It's mm. a fucking joke. It's funny because it's inappropriate, dickhead. Yeah. You know That's I mean? the thing. You can take anything out of context as just a line. Mm. Like a comedy, a, a comedian might say a whole joke and you take one line out of context and you can paint a whole different picture yeah. around it. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So. Definitely. I think, doing, I think you're doing some quite complicated uh, sort of mental arithmetic to make no. it, to offset the fact. That no, think is this funny. sorry? Is, so this, is, is this the woman that wants to get it censored? Okay. This is Sony performing a top secret comedy club. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, is she shushing, man? Ah! Uh, is she shushing, man? Ah! Uh, that's a grown man. Shh, 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 shh. On live on on TV. Already, already, there's some kind of totalitarian communism business going on there, you know. Yeah. Mm. One of the best comedy clubs in the country. When you go on television, they invited me to okay, come on the charity gig. Okay, we can both talk, or I can talk, but I'm well, not going to stop talking. Okay, okay. You wait. Well, I'll have you had yours. You had your go. I'll have my go. Okay. Okay. When I come on here, I'm not allowed to swear, right? That's the deal. So no swearing. <laughs> but yeah, but listen to a clean comment. If I say okay. if I say the F word, I might not be invited back. So when you go on television, there are rules. There's watershed. This thing. We all agree that there are some things you can and can't say. <laughs> about what you can say where whoever pays the piper calls the tune he couldn't so say ask, anything about anything so ask one well if you're a really good comedian you can be funny without being offensive you can't do old let me tell you now fuck off man. he is the worst person to try and create this argument with bro. because he is the most controversial motherfucker going bro Exactly. Bro, look at that whole Chinese thing that 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 <laughs> Come on, uh, he's so controversial, bro. He, he, she might as well be talking to a brick, fam. Bro, bro. Oh. <laughs> like her point is so crazy, man. Her point is crazy. She's like, we're well, saying, well, you know, if you're a good comedian, then you don't have to talk about anything dirty. But like, you know what? what? She she never had friends who called her out on her bullshit. Yeah, never had friends who made fun of her in any way whatsoever. Pointed out the yeah. dumb things that she did. Mm. Yeah, no, no. because if you can have a little bit of fucking, if you can take a little dig, mm. you can understand. Here's what, what I'm saying. Going on. She got mm. bullied. Yeah, and people made jokes well, about. Her. People well, made jokes about bullied. her, but she never got over it. Oh, do you reckon she never? She got never bullied? got bullied, and she just fucking has no no fucking shell whatsoever yeah, yeah, yeah. No she skin, is fucking skin bro that's all she is she has no she has no fucking shell <laughs> resistance she has no resistance <laughs> Joe, but she's not, also, but here's soft the here's the point I, I was Laura invited by offensive. the students who saw me perform all they needed to say to me was please do the same set that we saw you perform at top secret right. one of the most reputable comedy clubs in right. the country and come and do that but it's Rebecca, not about Rebecca, me being funny they when did they really thought i was funny and that's why they invited Rebecca, me on the what, show what kind of joke do you find funny i find really offensive humor very funny personally you do i like <laughs> really really rude humor. i'm outraged but, oh, what, you, what do you consider rude oh you're, you're stupid what is that rude i've made the choice to go and see somebody who pushes the boundaries. So no, but no, but on, on a student sanctioned, on a university event, you can't have jokes about being gay or being trans or about ethnicities because that is they're putting their name to it. Can't have jokes about being old. At the Royal Variety Show. About being old. If you're the, Look, oh, yeah. learn to show. laugh at yourself. I've had enough of this, bro. Learn you know, to you, laugh you, at yourself. Uh, can't Skin of a fucking yeah, can't listen to that. Noodle, bro. Noodle skin. You know when you peel a lychee, fam, you got a little bit of skin under the lychee, fam. You translucent skin. Like, bro. anywhere. <laughs> growing up anywhere, yeah, like there's banter. Yeah. And people dig at you, bro. Try no, try no. I think it's how you react to it as well. Yeah, Don't get me wrong. I've come across really sensitive people to the point where I can make a, 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 a particular joke it's quite in my head it's funny to everyone else around me it's funny but to them they they might laugh at it but to them personally like in their own mind it, it wasn't funny and yeah. they took it a certain way now each individual is different in it and i get that but bro the, the hang-ups with you because i'm not laughing 
I might, how do I put this? I'm not laughing technically at you, but I'm not laughing at you as well. <laughs> but I'm not doing it in a malicious way. It's yeah, just jokes. It's, it's just intent. humor, bruv. It's yeah. just like, like you'll say something about me, bruv, but it's like, it's up to me to take it a certain way, but I'm not going to because it's yeah. funny, bruv. I don't so know. Yeah, I Maybe I'm have, just hardened. You know who has thick skin? Who I've noticed, yeah, can take a joke. Fat boy. Steven. Yeah. Oh. Bro, yeah, man. All, all his brothers. What, Stephen? Yeah. Oh, yo. All his oh, yeah, yeah. All tight, all tight. Every second. Man, can take all a tight joke. Piece, man. <laughs> yo, getting in a room yeah. with them, man, is the worst thing Trust ever, you. fam. Trust. Yo, I'm telling you. See what I mean? Like, these people, let's pay them no mind. If you give them the time, they'll fucking win, bro. Because they don't stop talking. This weird kind of uni progressive yeah, fuck internet lot. Twitter sphere, yeah? I'm them offended. lot, them lot are where's just offended at where's everything. It, where's it come from? Where, where's it from? Bro, it, ah. comes from, it comes from the fact that now we have the internet, yeah? And now that people who couldn't join forces before can join forces now, bro. <laughs> They've created a cult. Yeah, like, and and now they're they're just voicing these like absurd, like really and truly, bro. You need to be able to take a joke. It's the uh, it's the offended Zord from fucking. Offended, <laughs> you know you're Bruh, like, Power Rangers. You're, you're together, allowed to be that? offended. <laughs> <laughs> you're allowed to be offended. Isn't yeah, it? Like, it's what it is, but don't try and enforce your offendedness on other people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, like don't. Just because you're offended is not, it doesn't mean I need to stop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that comes you know out, bro, it's the same thing with like, like you trying how to censor humor is the same way how people try to censor Christmas. With, 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 with you can't put Christmas lights up nowadays and all of that shit. Like, Fuck all that. It's like, bro, stop being so fucking sensitive, you know bro. They're, they're, they're treating people like kids in the sense that, you know how with kids you kind of, you censor yourself around kids because you don't want them to pick things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, right, the, the, the you won't swear around kids, or you, yeah, you might like, not like. I don't know, like if you smoke, you might smoke around kids. Yeah, man, we're not kids. Yeah, we are not that's kids. the thing. Like, and they put their points across like you are kids, and they talk to you like you're kids. Yeah, I'm not a kid, uh, bro. This don't. person's I'm not, trans, I'm not, so you can't make trans jokes. Yeah, bro. What? You can't make trans anyone jokes. I can, can make do what any the fuck jokes I want. about anyone. I could do what the fuck I want, bruv. Yeah. Unless you're in my body, in my brain or whatever, bruv. I will say what the fuck mm. I want, bruv. I don't give a fuck if you're offended is huge, ever. You make a joke about his huge forehead. Bro, man's got yeah. big forehead. What? Yeah. I don't you care, me. bruv. Solar you know panel you're... forehead. Bruv. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? man, man call me a beluga whale fam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man at work call me a beluga whale fam, but I'm not laughing because it's funny man. You know what I'm Beluga. You gotta change your forehead. It's funny. Man can't change it. Man can't get off on it and shit. I got, got taken a piss out of my whole upbringing from my head, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, you pattern the thing. Ali yeah. was the worst. You think, yeah, Ali was, Ali was fam, the you know worst. what? No, but I got, I got it bad a couple of other people. Fam, I get it, fam, but it's, it's funny at the same time. I can't fam. change it. Just I like how you can't change how you feel about your gender or your fam. sexuality or whatever. Fam. I can't change my Let head. Let me tell you now. Eminem done it the best in eight <laughs> mile. Fam. Eminem done it the best in eight mile. Eminem decided to address it before the other person addressed yeah. it, fam. And that's all you. And can even do, then, fam, if they did address it, you don't care because you've heard yeah, it so many fam, times. I've heard it, Stop being so sensitive, man. Yeah. I'm tired of all these fam. sensitive people, bro. Sensitive snowflake bunnies, bro. Yeah, yeah. bro. Melting under the littlest heap. It's funny. You know what I mean? It's funny. Who's, who's got ticker? People. Yeah, yeah, who's got ticker? Who's got ticker? Who's got ticker? Hey. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, man, but you know these are the kind of people Fuck that would have got put in the in the mass grave. Okay, Gronk. <laughs> these kind of people would have got put in the mass grave back in the day. Like. Well, yeah, better for be. real, bruv. Mass yeah. graves and yeah, that, bruv. This, this, this is mad. This is mad. Yeah, man. So the forty, the mass grave of forty people. I think they said it was going back to. Is it Saxon or something? So Saxon where was this? Buckingham. Bucket? No, buck. Is it Buckingham? Yeah, Buckingham. Buckingham. Yeah, Buckingham. 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 Yeah, yeah. Forty bodies were found buried in shallow graves in a building site in Buckingham. Mad. With their hands tied behind their backs. Hands tied behind their backs, mad. Okay. Uh, historians believe the remains could be over a thousand years old and have held and have held it one of the biggest finds of its kind. Like it's probably like Vikings or something. Mm. Just yeah, you bro, might. It could have been through. a whole village that was pillaged, brother. And they were just bro, the Vikings. Brock Lesnar came through. Brock Lesnar came through. Banged your wife, <laughs> tied you up, and killed you. Bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tied you up. Raided your village. Yeah. Took everybody that was fit to work. 
Yeah, yeah, took all the bitches, <laughs> <laughs> impregnated them, <laughs> impregnated them. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened back in the day, man. Killed the rebels. Bruh, that's what back in the day was about. <laughs> just women, go, just going from land to food. land, pillaging women, food, land. That's it, bro. You know what I mean? That's what it's bruh, about. It was a Game of Thrones thing. Bro. It was <laughs> I mean, it's it's a Game of Thrones thing. These lot would have survived back then, bro. Hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? They found a grave, a mass grave. Yeah, that's like this. Um, that's like the Mongols and that, bro. Mm, the Mongols. The Mongols oh, yeah, did the worst yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I remember. I was listening. To Dan, <laughs> bro, I was listening to Dan Carlin's book, yeah, yeah. or his uh, podcast thing about uh, the Mongols, yeah. Mm. And they were saying how one historian was talking about the the bones, the amount of bones that the Mongols left behind Shit. after this uh, war or raid or whatever. Yeah, in the distance, it looked like a mountain of snow. I I read sight like that. I read sight like that. I remember that. Sheesh. Do you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. how mad the, the Mongols were, were doing, bro. They, they were Mas, doing a mad thing. Masi- I might be wrong, but didn't the Mongols have, like, I think it was the third biggest empire I don't of, know. that the world's ever seen? Mm. I don't know. I think bro. the biggest is the British. I think the second, I think it might have been the Spanish. Man, <laughs> man will sit on the top of the mountain. But listen, this is the kind of place that the Mongols come from. <laughs> <laughs> look at my man. Yeah, for real. You know, look, that's Jinkis Khan's man. Yeah. He's legit. Yeah. That's his thing. He's got the thing with the Bam. fur on it. Yo, Yo, that looks like a fucking goat leg, bro. Yeah, What's it probably he is, is, bro. <laughs> it it is. Is. I killed this horse. Uh, bro, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, that thing is made out of goat's tusks. What if goat's horns or bro, something? It's bone, bro. It's shit. bone. This kind of music only comes from a place where it's like... Hard. Yeah, bro. yeah, for real. It's got to be rough. I expect to hear this and go on a mad trip, bruv. Oh, With some shit. fucking you know MDMA, bruv. This reminds, this, you know what this sound reminds me of? It reminds me of The Witcher. It does, yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, The Witcher, yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of music. Do you remember Simpsons? On? Remember The Simpsons movie where, where, where Homer lost Marge and then he comes across that Indian native woman yeah. and she starts oh, doing yeah, that frog yeah, singing. Yeah, yeah. The and then he starts going on a mad, he, got, he starts going on this mad spiritual journey. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's psychedelic. What, yeah, yeah, that's what it reminds this me of. This is very psychedelic, actually. Like he's sitting on the mountain top. Like, I like the sound though. But you see, when he starts singing, just imagine yeah, like yeah, a yeah. little hillbilly there. That's mad. Yeah. How do you sing like that? That is so sick. To me. Bro. To me, it's so, this is so hard. But do you know what I've just clocked, fam? Is this not a form of ancient, in a sense, country singing? Probably. Folk, mm. folk oh. singing. L- listen, it's folk. listen to yeah. the sounds, listen to the oh, yeah, sounds. I folk. could easily slap a hillbilly in there, fam, to start doing a mad remix, fam. Oh, you could. Banjo. Not necessarily the sa- yeah, but the sounds, but, but just in general, bro. Animal. Like this is this is uh, homeland. Like, this is homeland traditional country shit, bro. Yeah. say only exist in the place where they fucking came from in the first place yeah, and that yeah. is one of the things bro yeah yeah, yeah for real throat singing yeah. Did you come up with that hey, what's that like that's hey, like a hey. screamo hey, what <laughs> you know them, man, they I can't like stand that. that shit. Bro. You know what? If there's a genre of music, yeah, I am so open to genres of music. But that is the only one where I just want to fucking flick a peanut in their guys' throat. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna yeah. lie. Hold tight, Gojira. Yeah, because I have listened Gojira. to a little bit of Gojira. Bro, bro that's, he sounds like you should be in fucking Dragon Ball Z, bro. Gojira. 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 Oh, Godzilla! Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> Godzilla. They name <didn't> Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> but they're, they're, anyway, you don't have to listen to it, but it's a metal band still. Yeah. Alright, yeah, cool. cool. right, man. Are we going to get into this hooligan thing? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, let's see what let's see what let's see what's happening Mongolia over there. Into Apparently, my man released a tune. What today? Yesterday? Yeah, uh, today, I think this was. Is it today? I might be wrong. I think it. Oh yeah, fifteen hours 15 ago. Fifteen hours ago. Hey, this fresh off out of the oven. Fresh out. All right, say no more. Let's get into it, man. Sweno Productions. Okay, another church. <laughs> What are you doing in the fucking church, man? Oh, hold on. Hey. My data. Oh. The motherfucking data. Yeah. I've got too many haters. Wanna fuck with my haters? Trying to earn their strike for their clicker. Thank God for my millimeter. Thank God for me and my brethren. So thank God fuck for my millimeter. Santa's my enemies turning victims. I got the Lord as my witness. I've got too many haters. Wanna fuck with my haters? Trying to earn their strike for their clicker. Thank God for my nine millimeters. Thank God for me and my brethren. Fuck the judge and the sentence. My enemies turn the victims. I got the Lord as my witness. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. Fuck all my enemies, yeah. Fuck all my enemies, yeah. Fuck all my enemies, yeah. Fuck off. That boy for the Western won't hesitate to bang that Western. Before I pop that question We didn't go to war like Tekken Semi-automatic, I'll be overdressing Seven shots in the second rep And put him in the box, but I'm not meal prepping uh. <laughs> hmm. uh, I put him in the box, but I'm not meal prepping Is Western a place? <clears throat> Western. Western, Western Sydney, like, yeah, Western yeah Western Sydney, so yeah, I keep yeah. hearing that, yeah This boy from Sydney. Western mm. I, pop I mean, yes. you can obviously, from already He's just pissed off for whatever reason. He's <laughs> got some bars yeah. in it. He's got some yeah, bars in it. Yeah, he's got some bars in it. Western, hesitate to bang that Western. See that Western? Yeah, yeah. Western. I pop first, there's tension before I pop that question. We didn't go to war like Tekken, semi-automatic, got me overdressing. Seven shots in the second rep, and put him in the box, but I'm not meal prepping. Uh, try to play with the gun, yeah, you'll get done. Before the rap game, I still make fun. You can't talk smoke with your prayer, your mum's girl. Out of my streams, I did all hey. the What did you say then? You what? What did he say then? He said you can't, you can't talk smoke, man. Spray up your mums. Whoa, what? I, said, I didn't what even said. catch that. Because I swear, I swear, one of the, I swear, one of the viewers in said something about someone's house getting sprayed yeah. up. Whoa! Yeah. Is that what he is? I, I might have misheard that. Yeah. It? I just, it just sounded like that. Some of you are but I'm not meal prepping. Try to play with the gun, yeah, you'll get done. Before the rap game, I still make fun. You can't talk smoke if you pray at your mum's girl. Out of my streams, I did it on the one. Wait, is that what he said? Smoke if it's something. Wait, like did he just admit? To fucking spraying up someone's no, fucking It sounded up, like you said it, no, but I don't know if I mean, he did. Hold on, let's re go over that because I can't. This is very incriminating shit, my hold guy. On. You'll get started. Put on that game, I shoot my bun. You can't talk smoke if you pray at your mum. Go out of my streams, I did it on the bus. He might have said, you spray it at your mum's, or you can't talk smoke if you throw it at your mum's. I don't know. Let's Are you gonna throw smoke? Inside and you get chopped. How about oh my god, pop in the pub when clinic and never came back. Stop. See my shooter shoot out of love. No rats in the crew. That's the man of the rug. Yeah, I'll make up bangers, but don't get a twist. Cause I still let a bang in the club. See, I've been through help my brothers. I'll back them more like them. My own blood. Yeah, I'll make up bangers, but don't get a twist. Cause I still let a bang in the club. I wanna end up dead. Playing this game with real hard hitters. Talk form, but never put in the best. Hey, 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 Make them songs but stick to the truth. If you're a rookie, you're a rookie. That's fair. Stick to the truth. Man said, if you're a rookie, you're a rookie. Straight. <laughs> <laughs> How these kids get a pass? I don't even know who they are. Still got kiddies in the car and I still got hitties in the park on the shots in the yard. All these talking and they pull up when they see me pull up. They don't want to talk to me. Wanna fuck with my haters? Tryna earn their strike for the kick. I thank God for my nine millimeters. Thank God for me and my brethren. Fuck the judge and the sentence. My enemies turn the victims. I got the Lord as my witness. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Pew, pew. Fuck all my enemies. Look the dots, guys. Reload the dots. Turn the victims. I got the Lord as my witness. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck all my enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was nice. Send them shots. Don't talk about work, don't talk about clocks. Task force army cause my life is hot. One for me in the box. Cops want me to wing like fox. That's my offbeat touch. You know who's really letting that pop. Sick and tired of all these blocks. No one's safe when the thing gets caught. I talk about tools and we got that stock. Have to put me down if you want this spot. They want smoke, I send their, send their shots. Get busy and I leg it, leg it. This beef we can't bear it, bear it. Built to the fire, I fell it, fell it. If I got all the way, then there's no remorse. Was gang on myself, but I still sit tall. Fuck the statistics, check the ballistics. If you 
cunts really wanna talk about scores. Oh, Fuck yeah. that, I don't wanna talk no more. Scream out gang and then cry in court. Never be a day with a Wanna hit that line, they press decline Please, Lord, strike me down If I ever rap about a drill, it's not mine Oh like, Oh Because oh. oh. yeah, I heard Hold on The other one four tune Yeah, and someone commented that these lot are ops Of one four, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah The one four tune You know they're talking about putting ops on a shirt Mmm Really? Was it the person who said it that did it? Or someone else? Cause this guy's saying I'll never talk about drilling that weren't mine. Playing these cunts try and fact check me, Lord knows that I say no lies. Can't say much, but how many times did the shop get shut? When these old dogs when they talk about us, and who show form when it comes to a crunch? We know who and they know who. The cops come around on a god knows clue. We know who and they know who. The cops come around on a god knows clue. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck all my enemies, 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 yeah. Someone was hooded up in the middle. Yeah, they look mad still. <laughs> yeah, that's a mad mask, bro. Yeah, what is that's that? Nuts. That's a horror. What's the comment saying? I don't know. Some people saying. Scream out gang and cry in court, yeah. Can't puff, do that. Puff. <laughs> fuck it, you do that. Tonga and Samoa. Is that, do you reckon track? that's a thing that actually fucking happened? Like, what? Like somebody, somebody was screaming out gang, and then when it came to the court thing, bro, if someone done the well, six nine, nine fam. Is someone who six nine? Man, six nine. Who done the six Did nine? Did you six nine, blood? Hey, comment below. Who six nine? <laughs> um, yeah, man. I think it was a good tune. There was a couple bars in there, you know what I'm saying? Man had the meal prep, put man in the box. Yeah, box yeah, meal prep, no, yeah, 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 no like, box. Um, yeah, there cool. was a couple, cry, yeah, man, there was a, there was a few, one few thing bars I, sprinkled. One thing it. I will say, the flows, not that complex. They use the same flows yeah, that others it's, Yeah, it's yeah. not that it's complex. It's a drill flow, flows. not that complex. It's not even original. But, yeah. There is, I mean, it's a, it's a type of beat where you can actually go mad on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I've yeah. heard certain grime guys go nuts on these beats. Mm. Spill dr spit drill yeah, style. Yeah, 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 for real. For yeah, real. but actually going hard. Yeah. One one guy I heard the other day, Prez T. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come Prez on! Yeah, yeah, for real. If for anyone real. belongs on a drill beat, it's Prez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. Like, if, if you don't know about Prez T on drill, hit up Prez T on drill. What's the um drivers? Oh, my man, they're my drivers. Oh, yeah, Listen, I've don't fuck that, with yeah, Prez, yeah? You're going to come with flows and fucking bars. Yeah. Yeah? Old type Prez. Getting in hard, but I like this. I like I like the I like the way they put it together. I like that it seems to be pretty much of a real situation. Yeah, like, like it's the that's the vibe I'm getting. Not, this is not like no uh, internet beef going back and forth. No, no, it's a real hard. thing. Yeah, don't say Wiley Skepta, you were there. Yeah, type yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? No, this is fucking. This is like this is something that was real on the road. This is like Bricky Nam in yeah, oh, that's Bricky exactly Nam. that's exactly you know what I'm Bricky Nam, hundred percent. You know what I'm it's saying? A, it's a real situation. It, the thing is, the thing is, I wouldn't like for this shit to be real, but it seems as though nah, it's real, it real. seems pretty real. With and this is the lot. thing as well, yeah. The fact that it's so crazy that the new age we're in because. I guess our generation was the start of it, really, with all this internet beefing thing. Because man them were on road doing bits and then going online, posting videos on YouTube, like mm. after or before their rap tunes, talking about, yeah, we did this, we that man down, blah, blah, blah. So we were kind of the start of it and then it kind of normalised from there. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. So... <clears throat> You know, back in the day, people weren't posting that they were doing this and doing that. Exactly. Yeah, in yeah, one yeah. of the one four tunes, they said we put off on a shirt. That's mad. Mm. You basically just admitted to that you lot were involved in a murder. Yeah, but there's no difference to a certain drill. No, oh, yeah, there, yeah, though. of course it's the same, but it's it's become normalized. That's what I'm saying. You know I what don't, I'm saying? I don't see the logic in it, but it's entertaining. Yeah. You know, just like Love Island. <laughs> I don't fucking dig it, but it's entertaining. I like Love Island. Love Island. <laughs> Yo, what time is it? What time is it? Ah, it's already on. It's already on. Missed 18 minutes of it. 
But yeah, man, um, it does seem like a real situation, and it's, um, it's interesting, and it's kind of sad because yeah. once someone's died, beef tends to escalate. Yeah. Whereas beforehand, if it's a beef and you, a couple men have been punched up, maybe even just stabbed, yeah, yeah, no yeah. one's died. You can let go. You can come yeah. to some kind of consideration but then when someone's died now it's a bit mad it's only going to escalate well, it's, like, it's like the whole stone busy and church Road yeah thing, exactly and that's, that's like peak. It, that that will never just stop so that's peak. is what it is i mean that's, yeah man people died in you know well-known beefs over here and it just kind of fizzled out with generations yeah yeah, it doesn't like yeah, those yeah, generations. Blue story. Yeah, I mean that's exactly how it was. Yeah, back yeah. in the day. Oh, you don't like my man because he's from that area. Mm. What? What? You're f- where are you from, blood? Yeah, oh, you're yeah. from over that <laughs> side. You know we don't like them man over there. You know, fam. Empty your like, pockets. Like, it's, it's our mob mentality. It's, yeah. it's, it's just. Uh, you know what? It comes from one interaction. Though. It's it fucking comes from one bad interaction. Yeah, and then that kind of just grows yeah. from there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Hopefully, their situation over there can come to some kind of end do you know yeah. what I'm saying because they're talking hella reckless bruv in the bars and that this mad rec- mad recklessness got you cunt mm. mad recklessness <laughs> mad recklessness we're not promoting it and we would advise those of you who are watching not to take it fucking seriously blood yeah, yeah man. don't do that don't do it yeah man <laughs> I didn't want to talk about this Streatham team what with that to? guy, the, the guy who went around stabbing people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was there that morning, imagine I, that. I got yeah. the video. You got the video? I got a video. Oh, but yeah, is it something I can watch? Man? What do you mean, can you watch? Can we watch it? What, on there? Yeah. Well, I can post it on the on the group chat. Yeah, for, is it is it groom? Is it gruesome? Right? Mm. Is it actually showing people get stabbed? No, no, no. It's more of the police uh, situation at the time. The oh, police. Well, yeah. The police. Oh, but, you know, I was there that morning. Imagine that, in that same place. I was there that morning. Then that brother comes, I don't know, a few hours later, doing whatever he done, bruv. Stab some nursery woman, bruv. He did. Stab some nursery what teacher. Yeah, she, she got released that same day. Later oh, on, so later on in the evening. Bad. Yeah, one not bad. So it can't be in that deep. Later on in the evening. People go, yeah, I mean, the dude, the youth was like 20 or something like that, innit? He was 20. I don't know, but yeah. he's a dumb fuck, innit? Fuck that guy and his yeah. fucking soul. Let him fucking burn wherever the oh, fuck he him. ended up through, boy. Fuck that guy, innit? Is he dead? There was one opinion. Yeah, I know they, they shot him, they but I didn't think if he, he is, if he died. Dead. Yeah, yeah he know he's dead, yeah, he man. Died. You can't go around stabbing people. Yeah, I mean, come shot. on. If I'm that guy on the end of that fucking rifle, yeah, I'm aiming for you, bruv. And I'm aiming for somewhere where you ain't gonna fucking wake up. Like. Apparently they knew about him before it was happening. Yeah, apparently. Bruv, they were following him. They released him from prison and they were following him. This is the thing, like... That's why the undercovers were there so quick. de-radicalised. No, bruv. This de-radicalisation thing don't work, bro. <clears throat> you can't de-radicalise people. You can't, bro. What? I, I feel it's down to Wait. education. Just, just... That's a lie. No, I, I lied there. that current system... I lied there. ...is not going to work. Only because that interview with Joe Rogan with that brother. This I was just exactly the, what I was about name? to bring What's up. What's his name? The KKK um, brother. Uh, Daru, Daru, Daru. Da- was it Daru Davis or is that yeah. his name? Something like that. I know you, bro. bro. I watched that whole thing. That brother's scalping. That in a different way. That he's scalping not. in a different way, bro. He's collecting Yo, hoods. Fam, he's collecting, he's yeah, collecting yeah, yeah, all yeah. their all their hoods and <laughs> shit, fam. Yeah, I know. I see. I watched the interview. He's he's a legit brother. Mm. In a He's next legit. kind of way. So yeah, th- I was wrong in saying that you can't de-radicalise people. People can be de-radicalised. Education. But the way that they're doing it in the prison system is not working. Yeah. Clearly. Locking a man in a room for yeah. it with, with his own thoughts. <laughs> yeah. The only no. difference I will say is is, is that whole Daryl... Is his name Daryl Davis? I don't want to say it is and it's I, not. Something like I that. think it is Daryl. I'm just going to say Daryl anyway. Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. The only difference between that is that was more based on the KKK and their problem with radical, different races. Same way. It's radical, but their problem was more based on skin colour. Whereas Islamic extremism is probably more based on the fact that they don't like the fact that the Western world <coughs> is either not Muslim mm. and the fact that the Western, Western world has bombed the shit out of the Middle East for the longest time. Well, it's not just about not being Muslim. It's about being their type of Muslim yeah, as well. Yeah, their type of Muslim. Don't get it yeah, twisted because yeah, they're killing Muslims yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that's why you got the Sunnis and the Shiites, bro. 
and you're like, it's so complicated, get bro. Let's get away from that. Oh, you know? uh, so this chest. ten thousand year old skeleton challenges the theory of how humans arrived in America. Apparently so. So yeah, for what I know, true. they're saying that people came from the be- over the Bering Strait and yeah. down. So from over from Asia. Yeah. If I'm down. right. This article is based on people from Peru, is it? Is it Peru? Ooh. I might be completely wrong. I might be thinking of something different, but I could have sworn I saw the word Peru in there. <clears throat> Australia So basically, they're saying that people were arrived in waves. The analysis remains found that underwater cave known as Chan Hol. Oh! Near the city of Tulum. Isn't that where the pyramid is? The Mexican pyramid? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so he's talking about South America? Suggesting yeah, uh, cool. the multiple groups of early American settlers arriving from different geographical points of origin. Interesting. I don't know, mate. Ancient land bread connecting it. So that's the over the Bering Strait, yeah. Um, 12,000 years ago. Da, da, da. We just said that the shape of the structure of the Chan Hall three skull is different to some of the other skeletons from similar time periods. Indicating at least two morphologically different paleo paleo Indian populations. Interesting. I don't know about that. This is that. some Graham Hancock stuff. Yeah, some Graham Hancock shit. Uh, some. Uh, honestly, I don't know because they keep coming out. They found one in Germany recently that they thought was the oldest fucking skeleton. Mm. And then you got guys who say in Africa skeleton. Yeah, but the one that's in Africa is like hundred thousand years or something stupid. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I mean... Bro, as time gets on, who really... You're going to find skeletons everywhere. Guess what? People move around, man. Mm. Fuck, they don't stay still. They look for the place that's better. That's what they do. Yeah, man, I don't think... You know what I think? I think with America, I think that people came over from, like, the uh, Polynesia. They came over from the India kind of side of things, like China, over that kind of Russia, Bering Strait, Canada. But were people there before that happened? Mm. That's the thing as well. There because might have been other people who come from I, Africa I, I, and I don't, whatever. I don't yeah. know, in it, yeah, but so you, so really, the whole world at a certain particular time was Pangaea. It was a yeah, whole yeah. complete landmass that broke away in yeah. it, into into the continents or whatever. So it's like, was there like was there hominids Hominid. in in? The yeah, Americas before any of that, or what? Because I saw something the other day that says that you know how they, you know how people believe that Neanderthals were a more stupid version of of, of humans, humans in a sense. Yeah, yeah. We'll apparently that is uh, a completely and no. utter bullshit. I mean, that, that, that's the, apparently they were very intelligent. Yeah, no one's saying apparently that they were stupid. very I don't know intelligent. Who said stupid, but no, because of the decline of the actual. Um, Neanderthals, but what people don't realise is that is that humans. humans, as in what we know humans today, are a lot of them are a lot, a lot of us are still ha- have Neanderthal genetics. Yeah, I know. I've said this before. So, like humans and Neanderthals often interbred yeah. in certain parts of the world. But what I mean is this: the 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 Neanderthals and the hominids at the time that they were interbreeding with humans. They weren't technically human, as what we know today. That's what I'm trying to say. The fact that they interbred is what created is what we know today as the humans. I don't know about that. They're not. They don't like. Not everybody from in the whole world has. No, but uh, I think there was a quite a big percentage of it, though. It's mostly European and Asian. Okay, cool. But there was different hominids. So how do you know they? What I'm saying is that no, because it basically it's mostly hu- um, European and Asian humans that were interbreeding with the. Uh, Neanderthals, mm. and that's where you mostly find the people with genetics that. Uh, yeah, but then you look at the Icelandic people. Yeah, but they're Europeans. Yeah, that's true. So, and um, Neanderthals weren't particularly huge. They were short and stocky, stocky and yeah, big yeah, stocky, yeah, and yeah. strong. Whereas in in actually in Africa is where you actually find the more human mm. type people in the sense that they're more they they don't have that Neanderthal uh, lineage. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? In in and Africa, you got the um, what's that tribe in Congo? Pygmies. Pygmies. Yeah, yeah, they are basically tribe, people. Yeah, yeah. What scientists are saying that jungle jungle they're, people. They're basically yeah. um, descendants of the Homo Homo florensis or whatever. Mm. The small mm. ones. The small people. <laughs> yeah. So those these are all different kinds of the Oompa Loompas people. Yeah. And then so the you can come from fucking feminist. anywhere. You fucking can't so listen. Yeah, man. You can fucking come from Africa. You can come from Jamaica. <laughs> Who fucking knows? 
Yeah, man. These yeah. fucking bones, you're going to um, dig them up. I'm not a paleontologist, so I can't. Bruv, until, yeah. do you know what? I don't think anyone will really fucking know. Until you go back in time with a time machine or some shit, I don't know. Mm. No one's really going to ever know. that. It, all, all, if you've actually deep history now, up to a certain time period, everything before that t- certain time period is all speculated. Mm. Because until either technology gets so ad- fucking advanced to the point where you can literally pinpoint it to perfect yeah. accuracy, you're never going to know, man. I mean, they, they say that carbon dating is pretty accurate, but I don't know. To be I honest, don't I know about say. carbon dating. It depends. Man. It you're is. It is, and it's the emissions not. of carbon. That's the thing. That, over the certain time periods, you're, yeah. you're relying on it being steady, whereas mm. it fluctuates. Yeah. So you're you're date you're dating the material based on the carbon, whereas in certain time periods there could have been more emissions of carbons than in other. Mm. So yeah. you have to date. You know, there's different ways of dating it and, yeah. and in emitting the. How can I put it? Making it more accurate. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm not a paleontologist, so I can't say. But yeah, man, I think uh, I think we're done for the day, Lanny. Yeah, fucking pack up your gear and fuck off. And fuck <laughs> off home. Listen, fuck this. Get the sweeping done. No, no, fucking look. There's dust on the floor. Eh? Fuck <laughs> it. Get it done. Yeah. None the wiser podcast episode twenty eight. Subscribe YouTube, Instagram, comment, all of that, all of that. Press the bell button. Press the bell.